Shit. <laughs> Welcome back to Beers with the Boys. It's me and Cross here. Woo! The boys. We're drinking. It's about the season. This is the season of Keystone Light. Mm -hmm. The hunt for the Red October will begin soon. The orange cans. Yes. So, we gotta start prepping during the winter months. Start drinking this stuff because the other stuff is fucking won't keep you warm mm -hmm. it's like this and hard alcohol and then we all die so um <laughs> here's an update from last week shannon has to have surgery for her shoulder because went to the doctor and well it didn't get any better so that's a thing they're gonna give her a cyborg <laughs> she's gonna turn her into a cyborg <laughs> Have a yeah. robot arm. Your said, I just want to say yeah. Damn it. Woman. That was yeah. almost cool. Bi <laughs> yeah, she's going to become a bionicle. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, yeah, so that's going to be fun. It'll be on Monday. That's all the excitement we have. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's yeah. the news update. Thank you for watching. <laughs> uh, I fucking, uh, oh, you want to know something fucking savage? Fucking at work, they sent out something today. It's starting November 1st, mm -hmm. dropping weed off the drug pass channel for any non DOT employees. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you can start working there and you mm -hmm. can get hired and stuff like that. They just don't care about weed, unless you're a DOT employee, yep. obviously. So <laughs> don't worry, they do the same thing. They're like, we don't care about any weed anymore. And I was like, yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> if you have a CDL, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Because if you are a driver and we find out that you smoked weed, oh, you're a criminal. You're gonna drop the sun on you. No. Not not talking from experience or anything. No, no experience here. Obviously, yeah. just it's fine, man. It's, just, it's a slap. It's a slap on the wrist. Yeah, <laughs> a slap on the wrist. Sixteen-hour class. Yeah. Certificate <laughs> of authenticity. Yes. Perfect. But I had um, an interview today at work for a salesman job. Yes. For. On premise, so that way it can move Monday through Friday. We'll see how it goes. But my um, if it doesn't work, I got something that works. My old trainer sent me a picture of Quinn and uh, Beyonce today. Oh yeah, yeah. And he was like, "I'm like, it's not Quinn Latifah. This is the name of my truck, my old truck when I worked at Hayden." But I'm like, it's not Queen Latifah, I don't care. And he was like, yeah, there was some scrawny ass bitch driving me in. I'm like, yeah, that's my boy. <laughs> I was like, I'm totally gonna tell him you said that. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's fucking great. Yeah. I know, fucking the queen gone now. So. Yeah, she gone. But not forgotten. Yeah. Now it's just Beyonce. Yeah, Beyonce. Mm. So you heard about all the news about Travis Scott and all the fucking concerts. <laughs> yeah. you know, I've seen all the memes. Yeah, yeah. So there's nine dead now. Oh, nice. Wild. But I saw like a video of like, like a helicopter, you know, whatever the fuck, like one of those like drone pictures. Mm -hmm. So, so many fucking people. And it's just like this, like it looks like a tiny ass stage and there's just like, here's the stage. Like, like tree fort that, looking at it oh, or something. Oh, way worse. Yeah. yeah, dude. It's just like fucking this. And they're like, there's 50,000 people in there. And it's like, what the fuck, man? Like, and it's just like all around the stage. It's like, no wonder why fucking people died. Yeah, it was like 50,000 like, people. That's crazy. There's so, so fucking much. Yeah. And you just see like lights and shit. Like, it just looks like a little pod. And there's like this of just people. And it's like 100% filled. Yeah. And I'm like, wow. But speaking of flattened people, <laughs> <laughs> talk about Red and the McRib incident yeah. that he has. The, his McRib. So. Rhett has uh, apparently dislocated his floating rib. Is that what he did? Yeah, he popped his floating rib. When he told me that, I was like, floating rib? I was like, the fuck you mean, B? Yeah, I don't know what that is, to be 100% honest, but trusty old uh, Google let me know it's just a rib, I think. It's just a rib that's fucking... Floating there. and... Floating and fucking... McGrease. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking McDonald's fry oil. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's pretty great. We were all cracking jokes all day about it. Yep. Yeah. And so now we'd get there. We're like, sorry, we pulled all our McRibs as well. <laughs> we'd like to go home. <laughs> Collect mm -hmm. some workman's cap. Yeah. Yep. Pretty great. Seth has to step up. Yeah, I'm going to waterboard his ass when he gets back. <laughs> yeah. Like, Seth, instead of doing what you want to do, you have to do this now. Yeah. We're going to have a turkey bowl here soon. It's going to come out. It's going to be on Thanksgiving. It's going to be at 9 in the morning. Anyone who listens to us wants to join, you're more than welcome. I mean, we're going to have a ton of people there already, so. 
Might have enough for two games going at the same time. Yeah, well, yeah, we might. So depending on how big they get, because there's only like we can only get so many people on so many teams. You know, you can't fucking like 15 people out there. Running. 11 on yeah. 11, man. We have 11 offense, 11 defense. Yeah, but we can't have like 15 running out for the ball. Everyone going out for. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna be so disorganized. Not something. Yeah, we're, we're, some we're like used to playing like organized league. Play, you know, yeah. for the last three months, and then we're gonna go out there and bullshit. Yeah, it's gonna be back here and bullshit. Yeah, should be fun though. It's yeah, if it's at nine o'clock, I think I'll be able to make it. We'll see. Yeah, the morning. Do you have to work that day? No, I don't think so. I just have to be at my grandparents' at the same time. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. We just do it in the, the morning. Firing squad. You know. Yeah, because usually, um, you know, nobody has to do anything in the, in the morning, and everyone like everyone needs Thanksgiving at like twelve o'clock, two o'clock, some shit like that. So. At least this way people can at least play for an hour, maybe two, depending on, you know, what they have to do. We're going up to Idaho City that day. Sick. Out yonder, halfway to Idaho City. It's right past the dam, so. Nice. Fucking way out, you know, way out yonder. Shit. Shit's way worse, sir. Worse. It's not gooder. Yeah, not gooder. <laughs> <laughs> She's making grammar Nazis just lose their fucking mind yeah. right now. Well, I, I have a uh, watch for why I I have an 11 year old cousin. I think she's in the fourth grade. I think that's her age. I don't know how old she is. She's not 11. But <laughs> she's she's in a. I was talking to her on Easter. And it was hilarious. You know, and I was asking her what her favorite subject is and everything because she's in school because she can actually have a decent conversation with her, unlike I came with Grayson. Yeah. You know. But um, is just a terror. Yeah, but she was telling me about that. She's like, yeah. She's like, I'm pretty good at you know English. English is my favorite. She's like, yeah. I'm re- I'm, I'm only gonna get gooder at it. And I was just like, <laughs> yeah, like, all right. <laughs> it was probably the single funniest thing I've ever heard. And I was like, yes. You were gonna get so much gooder. At You're English. gonna get gooder. Are you? <laughs> are you, it's your name Sutherland by chance? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sutherland had his baby. I think it's on the same day Nevaeh is born. So yep. I think it's the seventh. I think right. it's that. I don't know if it was the sixth at night or if it, it was, was the seventh. It was the sixth. Was it the sixth? Yeah. At night or? Fuck, I don't know. Well, I can tell you. It was anyway, Sutherland had a baby. Yeah. So we haven't seen it. He's hiding it from us. Yep. We all know why, Sutherland. <laughs> Don't think we don't know why. Yeah. We know. So. If you know, you know. Hopefully he'll be at the baby shower. Yeah, Aurora's in town, Red Sister. That's why he hurt his vagina. I mean, his big rib. <laughs> yeah. So, you know. Because it's not like Red takes time off when people come to visit or anything. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Something drastic has to happen. Get fired. Quit. Yeah, Red's had more time. <laughs> More time off in this what last three months than I've had in the last three years, so that's pretty intense. Rhett's had more time off than my great grandma had retired, right? <laughs> <laughs> and she lived in '97, so mm-hmm. uh, put it in perspective. <laughs> the, the Biden books are working real fucking hard for him. <laughs> 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 I think with workman's comp, you only get like a certain percentage yeah, of 60. your... 60. 60? You yeah. fuck that, dude. Yeah. I mean, maybe if I didn't show up to work and fucking still got workman's comp and could work and do something else so I could get some extra bank. 60%. Yeah. Fuck that. I think that's kind of illegal, but... I'm going to put the disclaimer out there right now. That's illegal. Don't do that. Yeah. Or do. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. We're not in charge of you. This isn't a... Um, information podcast this yeah. is a bullshit one so yep <laughs> obviously professionals uh-huh. so but the best equipment yeah. as you can tell yeah <laughs> we're sponsored by white claw and keystone and keystone and yeah. whatever other beer we have yeah, october fast yeah. whatever beer we bring up yeah. sparkling ice spiked oh dude white claw makes this new oh I have some in the fridge, I'll have to try it. But, um, this new beer. Is it a beer or a seltzer? Uh, I think it's a seltzer, technically. Yeah. <laughs> so it's White Claw, or Mike's, or whatever the yeah. fuck. It's a different name. I don't even know what the name is. I'm not going to pretend to that. I know. Um, it's like Ryu. But it's like vodka, soda. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, but it's like vodka, soda, stuff. So I have one in there that's like mango. Yeah. I think one of them has like a hint of jalapeno or some shit like that. Mm. This one where it's, oh, tequila and ma- mango. 
tequila is my favorite. No, it has it has the flavoring of like a white claw mango. So you yeah. like taste it for like half a second, and then it tastes like coffee, and then you just like there is no fucking tequila. Uh, the alcohol percentage is five. Five percent for tequila seltzer thing. Interesting. I was like, that's not fucking tequila. Don't lie to me. You're like, fuck this. Throw it out the window. Yeah. It's very nice. Very nice. Yeah, but I was like, what the fuck, man? I was like, there's no fucking way that it's actually tequila. So, let me do some investigation. I mean, I drank it. I didn't like it, but I drank the whole thing, you know? <laughs> I mean, you have to drink, like, at least three or four cases before you can really determine yeah, if you yeah. like it or not. So, but, but yeah, I'll have you try it in here in a second, but it's it's not great. So. <laughs> It's not gooder? Yeah, it's not gooder. It could be way worser, but... <laughs> it might get good, but it ain't gooder. <laughs> ain't gooder than the stones. Nah. So at my daughter's birthday party, we had a big-ass bounce house. Yeah. Well, so they called me. I missed the call, and I'm, like, trying to, like, panic, get ready, and shit like that, you know, because I'm running late, because I had to work, and shit like that. Mm -hmm. They called me, they're like, hey, we just want to confirm your appointment for this time tomorrow. I was like, what do you mean? I was like, today? They're like, no, tomorrow. I was like, the fuck do you mean tomorrow? I was like, it's supposed to be today, because the appointment, uh, like, the birthday party is, like, now, like, in an hour, like, half an hour. I'm like, hmm, interesting. Like, we'll call you back. We'll see what we can do. And I'm, like, driving to my mom's. I'm just like, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> and I'm, like, going through all my emails and everything. Yeah, I said it for the wrong fucking day. I said it for her actual birthday. And not oh, the party. no. It's like freaking the fuck out. But yeah, they ended up showing up anyway, like fucking, I think within like 30 minutes of like the the call saying that they could do it because their warehouse is right down the street. And so it was like this Idaho inflatables place. And I was like, I can't fucking, I was like, thank God. Like you had people doing nothing, you know, that yeah. can actually <laughs> help me out or something like that. Yeah, so that, you got lucky there. Yeah. And I met the owner and his wife and they were they were super cool they actually like her shutting down the business for like the winter stuff because normally they'll do like indoor stuff like big garages warehouses shit like that but mm -hmm. they're going to mexico they're taking their kids to like college and all sorts of shit like that i was like that would be gangster but yeah but that shit was hella fun they had like an off course a bounce house and a fucking slide i didn't go on any of it yeah but i mean i didn't go on any of it but what she went there started yeah, Smacking down little kids, man. Yeah, but, I mean, at the end, I went in and, like, helped sweep up the leaves. Because, apparently, the leaves will, like, burn into the plastic. Oh, okay. It'll leave, like, imprints or something yeah. like that. Because they have some oxidization or some paint on leaves not naturally. Some fucking weird shit. Oily. Yeah, when it decomposes but, and shit. Yeah. And it was, like, raining mm. part of the party and yeah. on and off. But kids still kept jumping on that thing and fuck, you know? Oh, yeah. The bounce house. Yeah, so. they're resilient, you know? So, but um, fucking snowing out there, be like, all right, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, this is fine. So, but it's a lot of fun. And I was talking to them. You know, uh, they own all the all of their equipment and stuff. But they said last year they had to throw out four of them because all the outside, why it's so shiny, is like anti mold stuff. Mm -hmm. So that way it doesn't grow anything. But inside of like the chambers where the air is, if there's any moisture in there, yeah, he says so it'll mold from the inside out. Oh, nice. And then, so they had to throw them away, and so they really have to dry them out, but when it's not warm or anything like that, even if you set it out and run it, like, you're just, you're just fucked. So that's why. This was, like, that was, like, the last week that they were able to do it because of, like, the weather. But it was a lot of fun. Hey, you definitely, like, once there's, like, 30 kids or however the fuck, there are many kids there were, like, you could see that they would, like, sink in more. Right. Like, the things wouldn't work. But, like, if you're by yourself, you go fucking ham. Like, do the obstacle course and everything like that. It's a lot of fun. Totally should have watched that video of the new operator before coming over and talk about it. I know. I fucking... I totally spaced it. But I saw... So, I saw the preview of the operator with their new gadget, so... Yeah, I saw that, but, like, it doesn't tell you what it does or anything. It just shoots shards everywhere. But I don't know if it's, like, is lethal as a cap can trap? Or if it's just annoying, like, a lesion mine. Because, you know... And you're a defender and you're a two speed, two armor. You know, if you have a jackal or someone chasing you, you know, just throw that anywhere. Because it looks like it was the size of a grenade, so, you know, you can disguise yeah, it. Yeah, and anywhere. I think they stick to the walls, too, which mm -hmm. is cool. It's like an L mine, too. You know, yeah. you just stick to the wall and boom, have a damn grenade blow up in the side of your face. Yeah, I don't know if she's getting a new gun. So, we'll have to watch it after this. Yeah, I'm excited about new guns. I always like new guns. No more of that recycled <laughs> shit. Yeah, they can only fucking recycle so fucking many. 
I gotta get there away from the smoke detector. <laughs> but they can only recycle so fucking many guns. But it's hard to get new guns because they have to like license them or whatever the fuck right. they have to do. And test them and whatever the fuck else. So that'll be cool for the new season. I went and saw that new um, Venom. The Carnage. Let There Be Carnage. Uh-huh. And that was pretty good. I also like Woody Harrelson movies, so. But it was pretty cool. He's like some serial killer. Badass. It's just badass to see him fucking fight. And it was funny as shit, actually. So, because of Eddie Brock and, like, his fucking symbiote or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah. But at the end of the movie, you get to see, like, a teaser for, like, the new uh, Spider-Man, like, multiverse and shit like that. Isn't that supposed to have, like, Tobey Maguire and, like, all the Spider-Man? Yeah, apparently it's supposed to have all of them, so. Uh, And Doc Ock. (laughs) Yeah, I was like, hmm, that'll be badass. I remember, like... I don't know. Fucking Tobey Maguire is weird. Like, yeah, I have no idea what he actually does nowadays because, like, so there was the whole thing where he wanted like hundred million dollars or some shit like that, and I think they finally came to like a conclusion, or whatever the fuck, because he's like a hardcore uh, gambling addict. Oh yeah. Because did you ever see the movie Molly's Game? Oh, dude, you gotta watch it. It's really good. But well, it's about like poker players and like the secret underground poker league between like high rollers and shit mm. like that. And I think it's in LA or something along those lines takes place. And there's a character that actually plays him in it. Oh. Okay. Because he's like a hardcore like gambling addict. Apparently he's pretty pretty good, but. Right. And then, you know, he's just. I don't know what the fuck he's been doing since Spider Man. But obviously he has enough money to live off of not doing anything else, so. Well, we saw him in Tropic Thunder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the only other movie I think I've ever seen him in, so. Oh, so but I don't know. I I hope it's good. So me too. But yeah, what else? There's something else with Toby McGuire. Oh, do you know he's part of the Pussy Pact? It's like <laughs> I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's like you know, fucking Hollywood actors, something like that, that just like keep everything like under wraps and just, just like pussy. That's yeah. all they do. They just get bitches. Yeah, there you go. What's Toby McGuire? My guy. Yeah. He's like, you know, I was Spider-Man. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god, really? He's like, hey, oh yeah, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> like you've seen all my memes. Let me show you my web shooter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. But I, I don't know. I hope it's good. I like most of the Marvel movies. I gotta watch fucking. Shen. I think that's what's called the Rings one, and then the Marvels. Oh, Eternals, that's what it's called. But, I, I don't know, I, I like those movies a lot. Fucking, especially because they're, like, they build so much, like, story into them. Yeah. Because they're so fucking, like, intricate. And they have so much shit going on. They got too much shit. I yeah. still haven't fucking watched season two of The Mandalorian, so I got some shows to catch up on. I feel that. I haven't watched Squid Games yet, I need to watch that. There's, like, 50 goddamn shows I need to watch. Yeah. I haven't just watched a single episode of goddamn Game of Thrones yet. I don't think I ever will. But I don't think I'll waste my time. I watched, I think, like part of the first episode, and of like whatever it is, and like the first thing you see is like this brother and the sister fucking, and they try to kill a kid. Like that's like the (laughs) intro to like Game of Thrones. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? But you know, I you know I stayed away from all the hype that was being fucking thrown, all the shade thrown at me when the thing was coming out. I was like, fuck you all. I'm fucking not interested, so. I might go and watch it now. I mean, fucking, I th- we're watching, like, Seinfeld right now. Because yeah. it was, like, on Netflix, and it's like, oh, let's see, here's some background noise. And I, I forgot, like, that I used to watch that show, like, a lot when I was younger, mm-hmm. you know? Because it just was, like, one of the main shows to be on. It was, like, that and Friends, you know, and shit like that. Well, Karina will put on a show, too, like, for background music and everything, and it's botched. Botched? Yeah. What is that? It's like a, some plastic surgery show. And it's like when people go out and get like plastic surgery and they fuck up real bad. They'll go to these doctors. What? And I've seen some crazy shit, dude. That's fucking wild. Yeah, I'd be you know, so we're fucking in Hollywood, mad. you know, where everyone has like thousands of plastic surgeries and everything. And yeah. I saw some a million nasty surgeons. shit, dude. It's What's like, the worst yeah, one you've seen? Like, uh, well, mostly it's boob jobs that are just been fucked up. You like, know? Or, or like, oh, fuck yeah. yeah, dude. It's, 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 you see, I've seen everything. Bumpy? Yeah. Bumpy boobs. Oh yeah, and then there was like some chick that just had like you know basketball size you know breasts on. She's like, I just want to go bigger, and the doctor's are like, really? <laughs> You're like, how much bigger? And then she's like, maybe about fifty more bras. Yeah, <laughs> she's got, got like a ratchet strap around. Her, you know, yeah, that's a bra. Them up. Yeah. yeah, that's fucking wild. I don't know. There's so much like they can do with like plastic surgery and shit like that. It's just fucking wild. 
I mean, there were some cool ones where, like, their kid got bit by a dog when he was younger, and so, like, he was missing part of his, like, nostril, and then he had a huge scar, and then they fixed it up and it looked really good, and, you know, and then there's, like, people that come in there with, like, just fucking hamburger face, like, you know, just fake lips, eyebrows, you know, our cheekbones are sticking out, it looks like a fucking alien, and he's like, I just want this to get fixed, and I was like, I don't think we could fix what it. are we fixing like, yeah, it's like we could can try we, see? we could try something but the survival rate is like zero shotgun yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can we see some before yeah. and afters you fucked it up yeah. Like, oh, dude. yeah it's like it's just a shotgun blast to your face yeah i've like seen i've i've seen like some pictures of some people with like botox with like cement yeah and like their forehead and shit like that like all, all sorts of fucking weird shit I, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm a guy, but I don't think I'd ever get a fucking... I'd just ride that shit out. Let me be ugly. You know, I'm already... Yeah. I mean, I can understand, like, plastic surgery people have, like... Yeah, like that kid. The thing, like a kid or, yeah. you know, But, like, I see people out there, it's like, I just didn't like the way my chin looked, so I got, like, five plastic surgeries, and now his chin was all fucking weird looking, and I was like, damn... Why don't you just tell somebody you just got knocked the fuck out? In the yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just tell you them know. you broke it when yeah. you were a kid or something stupid, you yeah. know? It's a good story. Yeah, yeah, you were dirt biking or something. But, I mean, this person was totally, like, flaming, so... <laughs> yeah. There was no... You know, biking. I was walking down the street. Yeah, and, um, let's just say you fell upstairs, you, you know, know, and broke your jaw. Yeah, police brutality, a cop beat me, something, anything. Yeah. <laughs> police brutality. Yeah, fuck your shit, dude. I was like, oh. yeah, some of those are fucking bad, dude, but also, like, L.A.'s fucking... California's garbage, so... There's not a whole lot com coming out of there that's, like, good. super great. And, yeah. the, you know, a lot of plastic surgery. I mean, there's few good things coming out of there. Like, fucking Elon Musk is fucking from there. Or lived there the longest. Something about that. He makes badass shit. So, he made internet for kids in Africa. <laughs> yeah. Cars that fucking... He can cure world hunger, apparently, but he won't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. He, <laughs> but I won't. <laughs> yeah. You fucking, um... He said bet, and they still haven't fucking done the math or yeah. anything like that. To the UN. He's like, do the fucking math, bitch. Yeah. It's like, I fucking dare you. He's like, I would have done it by now if I could have. <laughs> Don't you underestimate my power. <laughs> <laughs> See it up there. He's building the next Death Star. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just it's like, big ass, just, shut the fuck up. Big ass Tesla symbol on the side of the... Yeah. Yeah. It self-auto-drives like, itself kinda, to different yeah. parts of the universe. Yeah, it's like, I'm kind of busy. I can't really do world hunger right now. Death Star. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. the moon, you know? He's like, oh, I'm going to fix world hunger, all right. I'm going to yeah. get rid of half of you. <laughs> it's like, it's going to fix it like that. Yeah. Like. <laughs> oh, God. God. Man, he's just fucking out there. Dude, I bet you... I, dude, if you're that rich, dude, I have some badass shit. Like, I'd fucking... We having like a fucking working fucking web shooter. I'd be like just like all the bullshit that he makes, like the fucking, um, not a flamethrower, <laughs> all that shit. Like that's what I'd be making. I'd be investing like in like an actual working like bat suit, like stab proof bat suit, fucking grappling hook. That'd be badass. Make your Iron Man suit. You know? Yeah, I, I I would just you know. You have so much money, and I bet you it wouldn't cost, like, theoretically anything when you have that much money to make some badass shit. Some toys. And your Halloween costumes better be fucking awesome every year, you know? A fucking working Thor hammer that creates static electricity or some <laughs> shit like that, you know? Just fucking hit someone, fuck them up. Yeah. But, uh, there's just people called the Hacksmiths. They're on YouTube. Have mm. you ever seen them build anything? No. They build like working models of like a lot of the shit. Like they built. Oh, a, nice. I think I think it's them that built a working model of Captain America's shield. Mm. So it's like carbon fiber and shit like that, and it, and fiberglass. I think so. It like bounces off, so it'll actually bounce like the way his does, and you can catch it. I think they made a hammer with like static electric. Like it's a like a Tesla coil, mm -hmm. and so like shit will come out of it, so it looks like lightning. Oh, nice. I think they made. I. Th I'm pretty sure they're the ones that made, like, a working lightsaber. Where it's, like, a big-ass, like, fucking plasma laser, and it'll, like, cut through shit. Nice. So, no, they just make badass shit. I was like, that would be such a fun job. But they're all, like, fucking engineers. <laughs> right? Know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah, yeah. We try to do that in, like, a garage. Yeah. <laughs> Burn the garage and yeah. kill ourselves. Yeah, fucking police would show up. They're making a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> it's my constitutional right. <laughs> yeah. I wanted a B-15 bomber, but you wouldn't sell it to me, so I gotta sell it for just the bomb. <laughs> just imagine, like, being 
Just fucking, yeah, I'd like to buy that B-15. <laughs> yeah. A stealth bomber, like the B-52. Probably <laughs> it's a Tomahawk missile. Yeah. You know? I'm just like, what? Where are you going to put it? I'm going to mount it on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> An earthquake happened. <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, well, that's fucking 300 grand. I'll never get back. 300 grand? I don't know about that, buddy. I don't know how much a Tomahawk missile is. Probably but... in the millions. I mean, I feel like we should know since we pay for all of them. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. I think it's fucking whatever we spend on our government, which is like a few trillion dollars, or I guess yeah. it's billions of dollars, but, you know, it might as well be trillions of dollars, goddammit. Our defense buzz is like, what, $800 billion? Or some yeah. Shit. Yeah, it's almost a trillion dollars. We're like, hey, can we have some health care? They're like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's like, we're our, gonna fuck up this other country. Yeah, we just, we're in debt, like, fucking, I don't know what it is now. I haven't looked at the national debt calculator, but let's just guesstimate, like, $22 trillion. And they're like, you know what we could do with the, all that money? They're like, absolutely nothing. But yeah. they're like, you know what Elon Musk could do with 2% of his wealth? It's yeah. like, what? <laughs> you have so much more money. Your whole fucking government, you fix it. Like, you're the people that are supposed to do shit, but. Congress is like, we don't do that here. Congress is like, we don't do anything here. Congress is like, gay people are trying to get married, all right? (laughs) We've got important matters, yeah. (laughs) I know, fucking, yeah. People are trying to abort babies at six weeks. We have a fucking pressing matter right now. Oh, my God. Um, I don't know, all sorts of shit. I mean, I, so I saw that, I think it's Florida, Texas, Idaho, Mm -hmm. are part of a lawsuit or something like that for the overreach of power for the fucking president maybe oh, the mandate him. yeah the mandate because apparently that's uh at a state level mm-hmm. they can mandate stuff like that because yeah. the state has a lot of power for like people that live in that state mm-hmm. so it comes to like health and stuff like that but the government apparently doesn't have that power through osha or not osha um what am i thinking of health people hipaa, HIPAA. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's it, but yeah. Um, bo- it? Yeah. So, um, like, the government doesn't have that power through HIPAA to make vaccines van- uh, mandate or something like that. I don't fucking know, but don't. Well, I saw Why is the government telling me what to fucking do? Yeah, I saw saw communist some- Russia. They're gonna, like, try and make it, like, a mandate for children, too. And I was like, good fucking luck. Yeah, fuck that. Kids are fine. Yeah. I was like, yeah, once they turn 18, they can, you know, start dealing with your bullshit. But until then, it's like, nah, fuck you. Yeah. You know, ain't happening. <laughs> Yeah, I think we talked about recently how, um, me and Shannon were talking about how this, about how, like, doctors can usurp your parental right for their, for a kid's health or something like that. Yeah, there's, I bet uh, there's a thousand there loopholes. I mean, take it with a grain of salt, I don't know how accurate where the source mm-hmm. came from. Was it's that HN article? No. There was Reddit. something that was talking about how Idaho is one of the states where, when it comes to the COVID vaccine, that they can take away the parents' right to choose whether the child gets it or not type of thing. That's crazy. Um, but, again. Are they going to come to the parents' house and try and do that? Well, like, going to be a lot of dead to, docters, man. I think it's more <laughs> They open the door. Free! <laughs> like, if they take their child in or whatever. Oh, uh, like, if like, you take your kid to a doctor. Yeah, they can, like, basically force it on your kid. Again... I don't know how accurate that is. Don't let your kid out of your fucking sight. Problem solved. Yeah. When you, especially when you take them to the doctors. Wow, you know? I don't. That's crazy. I could not imagine. It's like we're gonna get this, inject this into your child, and you have no say about it. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that law is set up for like more normal shit. Like, oh, the parents are fucking psycho and like don't care that their baby has a broken arm or oh, fucking yeah. you know shit like that. But if you go in there for her like a physical, like oh my child wants to play sports this. Is Fall. You just do a physical. All right, now we're gonna inject him with something. Drop your pants. Shoot yeah. him in the ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's yeah it's just like down to is like you taking them for a physical, like you're saying, or or like a checkup. Even you know what I mean, like. Wild. Wow, What's the kids. doctor gonna do? Is like, is there gonna be like national guard there to hold you back while they do that to your kid? I, I don't. Yeah, think bring so. your kid back in three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I don't know <laughs> about that. I don't know how true it is. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it. so. That might be some like you know Trumpy conspiracy shit. Yeah, yeah. Or, 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 or it might like, just be like one of the things where like we're not saying it's gonna happen. But guess what could yeah. happen? Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> fucking Biden's on a fucking roll though. No. Like, I'm not saying it could, but you never know. It's crazy or shit's happened. Anyway. You know what we need to do? Move Start on. Start a militia. Yeah, no. yeah. Move on from this bullshit. Yeah. They just need to get over it. I don't think anyone cares. Get anymore. all your shit together. Take it with you. Go fuck off somewhere else. I'm pretty sure at this point, everyone's had COVID. Yeah. Or yeah. the vaccine. Yeah. So. The thing is, it's been available for... 
nine months now. Yeah, Something we're all like gonna that. die like three years later from it anyway. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. The radiation from the sun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like actually, if you're gonna grow a third head, you know, third. <laughs> Second one coming out of your ass. Yeah. <laughs> Vaccine, you know? Where's my third one? It's just like another fucking penis head. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I don't, you know, whatever. It's fucking, it should be done with. But I mean, you could live in Australia where they're fucking, will kill you for fucking the vaccine. They won't let you out of your house. Yeah, that's why you don't give up your guns. Yeah, I was going to say, it's it's kind of crazy when you don't have guns anymore. Yeah, yeah, they had, I think it, I don't know exactly what it was, but I think they had a mass shooting event. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, like, like Columbine, let's say, like, yeah, an example. Yeah, a long time ago, yeah. In the away. 90s, mm -hmm. and then they took away everyone's guns. <clears throat> and then now, they're just fucked. Now, Australia is like, eh, you know what, you fucking prisoners. You know, you know? what, you fucking cunts. You know? Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, so, fucking. I don't know. But, yeah, don't. You can't take away people's guns. I mean, now it'd be so hard. Like, imagine the government was like, the United States, get rid of all your guns, you know? Just like. There would be chaos. Uh, yeah, they'd be shot. Yeah. <laughs> they'd be either hiding in a bunker somewhere, or they'd be shot. So, second they decreed that. You know, everyone says that. Especially like, like Come those, and take them, you know. Come and try. Especially yeah. this Kunon people. Did you hear about all the people? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another oh, thing. People. There was no fucking, um, yeah. I think it was in Dallas. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, Dallas. I think Texas. Well, I want to say somewhere Texas. Somewhere in Texas. Texas or Florida. <laughs> but all these people met up because they thought um, Kennedy was going to come back. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure. yeah. <laughs> now uh, John F. Kennedy's son's going to run with uh, Trump in 2024. 20, yeah, like, but, but they were saying, like, hard. He's been dead for 20 but years. But they were <laughs> saying, like, JFK is coming back. Like, oh. him. Like, the senior. And I was like, what the? Yeah, they were saying, J they thought JFK was going to come back because he's from this government I it was experience. His son. And no, and no, son. And yeah, and his son was going to run for vice president with Trump. And so, like, just crazy shit. And so, like, all these people are waiting and wherever the fuck. I think, I want to say it's Texas. And they're just like, we're just waiting. It'll be here any second. Like, <laughs> you know, you got to do that, but, like, take him to, like, the New Mexico desert and yeah. test all the hydrogen bombs. Like, just come over here. He's coming. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. Especially, like, the people that were, like, like hella into, like, you know, the fucking capital rioters and all that shit, you know. They're, they're, they have nothing now. Like, they fucking lost their website, so they're just, like, looking for anything. Well, at this point. I thought Trump was saying he was going to make his own social media. You know, since he got banned from every other one for, like, all the misinformation and shit. Yeah, so I but, so know, he keeps saying that he's going to make his own social media, but apparently it's just, like, a reskin of some other shitty social media that they're using or something like that currently right now. But the whole thing, too, is, like, he's trying so hard for, like, this other social media that he's going to make or maybe not make or whatever the fuck he's doing. But he's also, like, still suing Twitter to, like, get back on Twitter because of, like, Florida's legislation that they, like, passed. So Florida was like, hey... We're going to pass this act where social media companies can't ban, like, presidents and other shit like that, you know? And then, so, it's just, the second that came out, Trump's like, I'm suing Twitter yeah. for banning me. And then, but, uh, I think the government was already like, well, that's unconstitutional. You can't make a private company do whatever the fuck you want. So, yeah. like, it's not a real law that's actually been passed yet. Twitter just shuts down everyone's account in Florida. <laughs> yeah, and Trump's still suing on, like, the fake premise. So. Yeah, dude. Just, he's going at it. I hope he runs for 2024. It'll be so interesting, but I really want him to run in his own party, not as a Republican, to see what the fuck happens. Because <laughs> I bet you he'll get so many votes. It would be insane for his own party, to the point where like it might actually be like three parties. Like, you like the Democrats, <laughs> Democrats, Republicans, Trump. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the people or whatever. Trump's I sons, daughters, grandchildren. Yeah, I can't remember what it was, but we'll just, like, you know, fucking the Trump party, so... It would be wild. I don't know. Trump's just funny. Like, <laughs> the way you, like, hear him talk, shit, and everything like that. I don't know. I haven't... Since he got out, I haven't seen much, you know. Uh, last Not as much as this president, TV. you know. It was, like, every fucking day. It was yeah. something new. It was something yeah. fucking sick, you know. He's going on a war rampage. Yeah, He's yeah. fucking... Apparently, he shook hands with somebody, I think, some, um, you know, international... Important person for 19 minutes didn't let go of his hand. Interesting. 19 minutes. International like, important person. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't, this isn't a fact show, okay? We're just stating what we think we know. He's trying to make Kim Jong-un jealous. <laughs> yeah. 
It's like, look what I got. The same heart. Yeah. <laughs> Kim Jong-un's got a pig heart or whatever the fuck he's got in him right now after his surgery. After he disappeared. Or didn't disappear. The glorious leader. Yeah. The glorious leader that does not fart or poop. <laughs> that is difficult. Yeah, yeah. I fucking love that movie. God, so stupid. Mm, it's almost fucking Christmas time. You know, it's, it's a Christmas remember, classic. Remember when it was going to come out and like North Korea made threats so there were oh, like nine Yeah, that they were going to bomb us? Yeah. yeah and then, I was, I'll, if I was president, I'd be like, do it. Yeah, and then there was like a leaked like video of like the missile and it's like, oh. yeah. <laughs> it went like 12 feet or something stupid. Yeah. <laughs> because like... I think apparently like North Korea has like the nuclear technology, but they don't have like the missile technologies. This was back then, so like I think Obama was like, "Fuck you, bring it on. <laughs> Let's see what you no, got, boy." Dude, I would have been like, "Do it," and be like, you know, it'd be like twenty twenty five, and they're like, "Look at the world map. This is South Korea, and this is China. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's that there? It's nothing. <laughs> it's actually a hole. Yeah. <laughs> it's another ocean now." <laughs> yeah. yeah, I watched um, Army of Thieves. Which is apparently a precursor to this new movie. It's I think it was a Jack Snyder movie that came out, which was Army of Dead. But I didn't watch Army of Dead because I didn't know about it. But I watched Army of Thieves, which is like a prequel for that one, even though it came afterwards. And it's really good. It's about this uh, German kid that's like lock picking, like all these like master locks. Mm -hmm. So I watched that, and we watched Army of Dead, and that shit was pretty good. They have like some advanced fucking zombies, some zombie outbreak that um, hell yeah takes place in Las Vegas. So they like quarantine the whole city, and they're like, "We're gonna nuke it." Did they go into like rob a bank or something? Like yeah. That? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I saw. I saw a preview for that. I was like, "Yeah, it might be good." Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, yeah. I I, I thought it was a lot of fun, especially because I'm like, "Please nuke Las Vegas." Like, yeah, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see. As long what as I happens. can pick where it lands, like right on the new Raiders fucking stadium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, pardon me. Take over. Got, got to drain the main bank. This will be the first of seven that will happen later in the night within the next 20 minutes. That's, that's colon cancer. He has colon cancer. Let the record be shown. He also has prostate cancer. He can't come. He comes out in his piss. <laughs> I think it's actually prostate cancer is what we're looking for. Yeah, that's it too. It's all of it. This message has been brought to you by Keystone. They don't pay us anything, but sure right. as hell, we drink a lot of it. So. I have a, a bladder of a five-year-old girl, so. <laughs> I know. I wonder what's going to happen when you become pregnant and your bladder changes. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Pregante? Regnante? I don't know where it went. Yeah, it went flying. That's what Jesus now. You're probably sitting on it. Ladies and gentlemen. We yeah. Found <laughs> we found Katrina. Katrina. Yeah. We're gonna find her. We're gonna find her. <laughs> Bring her justice. Mm, have you watched um that Shane Gillis? That I send that I should tell you about the Shane Gillis special? It has like the best Trump impersonation I've ever seen. Oh, is that so like a stand up comedian? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're telling me no I haven't watched it. Yeah, I'll show you after this. We're gonna have to watch a million things after this. But yeah, yeah dude, yeah. the best best fucking impersonation ever. Especially <laughs> He's like um, Trump would be the funniest president mm -hmm. to get like assassinated, not like like just because of like what would happen. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, I also made this joke before Biden became president. He's like, Biden's the only president I could ever like KO in one shot. You know, yeah. like gut punch him and he died. <laughs> um, he's like losing his fucking mind. That and like, uh, Kamal Harris is like gone. And then they, like, bring her back for, like, a day, and then she, like, disappears. Because she's, like, the most fucking hated VP, like, ever. She has, like, 25% approval rating or some shit. Just the Trumpies, man. They're just mad. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, I wonder what they're going to do for the next presidential election. Do you think they're going to have him run again, or do you think they're going to have... Who? Biden. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you think he'll make it that long? <laughs> I'm not looking for Biden's next re-election. You know, I'm dude. looking for Biden's next week, you know? So we have, like, all those celebrity matches right now between, like, Mike Tyson's about to go up against Jake Paul, Logan Paul, one of the brothers, um, and, you know, an exhibition. 
That should be funny. Yeah, which I I can't wait for Mike Tyson to kill someone. Uh, <laughs> live, you know, my generation, it's yeah. so fucking great. But um, what they should do is, like, that's how they should pick, like, the next Democratic nominee and Republican nominee. <laughs> like, they should just have, like, a cage match. So they have, like, Bernie Sanders versus Biden. That would be fucking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> just do old man. And they all get, like, one weapon. Like, one weapon choice, but it's, like, comes in, like, a random loadout box. Yeah. Like... <laughs> Musket. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's gotta be like fucking like toy lightsabers or something like that, or fucking just blow up bats, like. <laughs> and then like see the Republicans fighting and like a steel cage death match with like a fucking chair. Yeah, <laughs> give him the chair. <laughs> give him the chair. <laughs> You're going nowhere. One of my favorite fucking gifts is the one where like John Cena's opening the present, and it's the present, and it's the fucking chair. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. God damn. I miss watching fucking WWE. I used to watch that shit all the time when I was a kid. <sighs> Especially the fucking uh, cage matches. Mm -hmm. I remember the one where it was The Undertaker versus, I think, the fucking announcer. I can't remember who it was. <laughs> and The Undertaker fucking destroyed this fucking dude. Went through the cage. Because, mm -hmm. you know, he hit him all the way down and he came out of the cage. Yeah. And that's, like, the only way he survived. He's, like, covered in blood and shit like that. And obviously, it's fake as fuck. But yeah. the Undertaker was a badass. Like, <laughs> he'd go and kill everything, so. I wonder if he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> the Undertaker. <laughs> that's just, just such a badass name. It's just, like, the dude that's going to carry you to the fucking dead world, you know? Yeah. Oh, God. Dude, I remember playing, like, WWE on the Nintendo 64. Yeah. And then every time you play as The Rock, you know, his theme song would come on. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get it. I know. Have you seen, um... Oh, what is it? The new, uh... Justice Squad, or... No. I heard it was pretty shitty, though. <sighs> What's it fucking called? Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. It's got John Cena in it. Yeah. And... He has, like, the same powers as his other dude. And, like, his only thing is, like, I'm you, but better. <laughs> and, yeah. and there's, like, this scene where they're doing, like, these trick shots and, like, killing people. And it's so fucking... That's, like, the only badass part of the whole fucking movie. Yeah, it's pretty fucking terrible for the record. But, like, all these badass fucking trick shots of, like, killing people, like, under the yeah, fucking... Yeah, Will Smith wasn't even in it. No, no, he wasn't. Yeah. Even though, yeah. He was probably like, I know what's coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, think... I can't tarnish my reputation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know... Fucking who knows what's going on with him. I think him and because him and um, uh, Margot Robbie, which is the bitch that plays Harley Quinn, mm -hmm. him and her have been in like a bunch of other movies. And I think this was when he was having problems with his wife and he was having <laughs> the whole thing with her, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, but now he's in the open relationship. But also now his wife doesn't give a fuck about Will Smith. She's like saying he sucked in bed and like all this other shit. I don't oh, yeah, know I what the fuck's going on. That interview. poor man. The interview she's out there, she's like, Yeah, she don't knew a lot, you know, on this open interview and Will Smith's just like Entanglement. Yeah. Oh yeah, an yeah, entanglement. He, yeah, yeah he's right. like, This is interesting, you're telling me now in front of me. He's like <laughs> he's like, and I cheated on you with our son's friend. You're like, What the fuck, man? <laughs> Jesus. Don't you have morals, you fucking bastard? Our son's friend. Our son. <laughs> Sweet home, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a smooch like you're kissing your sister. <laughs> but, um, yeah, dude. Poor Will Smith. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what he did to deserve all this hate, but. <laughs> <laughs> hate, 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 hate. Poor man. Everything I've seen him in, he's been great, so. Yeah. What's that movie on Netflix? Oh, what's it called? It's like, you know, he's a, he's a cop, then it's like in a, a different world where, like, there's mutants and everything. Not mutants, but, like... Oh, oh God, Bright? Bright, yeah. Yeah. I like that movie. That was a good movie. Yeah, apparently there's... <coughs> My bad. Um, there's this new Bright, like, uh, cartoon version. I haven't watched it or Game. anything like that, but... Yeah, Bright was really good. I saw one with Keanu Reeves in it recently. Oh, apparently it came out in like 2018, but yeah. it was it was fucking good. It's on Netflix. Um, he's building a robot that he can transplant transplant people's brain and memories into, mm -hmm. and then the robot can like talk for them and stuff like that. And the beginning of the movie is like them talking about that, and then he has a terrible accident. All of his fucking kids and his wife dies. 
Oh, it's fucking, it's fucking wild. You gotta watch it. Yeah, it's fucking, and it's Keanu Reeves, you know, so he's like still like fucking the same as Keanu Reeves. But something bad always happens to him in like all of his fucking yeah, no, movies, you know. Guys. So, you know, his wife dies, his dog dies, fucking, I can't wait to watch John Wick again. I might just go on a John Wick marathon here soon. Mm-hmm. I'm just happy he's making all, uh, he said he'll make as many as people want he's like I don't give a fuck he's like I'll keep John making them I'm like Fast and Furious where we told you to stop making them but you keep making them <laughs> you, you ungrateful <laughs> bastards and don't you have enough money dude I think I, last time I watched one was Fast Five and I didn't even want to go but someone was like I'll pay for your, your ticket for the shit so I was like alright watch it I was like Oh man, two hours of my life I'll never. I know. I'm gonna watch the new one eventually, whenever I can for free, obviously. But they go to space or some shit, so. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what well, they want from me. Paul Walker died. Seven. Yeah. I, I was think. Like, how I? Won. I think it was seven. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. They've had. So this one was nine or ten. Ten is the one where they go destroy the Death Star. Eleven is when they go blow up the Halo rings. Yeah. <laughs> Thirteen, they go for the sun. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, apparently they have like a stop due date. They're making like two more Fast and Furious movies or some shit like that. But I, I don't fucking know. Well, they have so fucking many of them. Right. And then they had. We have to ask Congress to get on our side so they can stop making them. <laughs> I think we're going to need more than Congress. <laughs> we're going to need Fucking all the other governments. The, yeah. Mar- the Marine Corps. <laughs> uh, yeah. We're going to need North Korea to stop that shit. <laughs> They're the only ones that can do it now. <laughs> Go talk to Kim Jong. Like, listen. Your gloriousnessness. <laughs> Did you want to be even glorier? <laughs> more <Yeah>. glorier? <laughs> Take down Bath the Furious. <laughs> That's gonna be like the fifteenth movie. <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. They go to kill Kim Jong Un. Yeah, they take down the whole country, North Korea, with just cars. <laughs> yeah, and they're all like those shitty ass old ass Russian ones. Yeah. They're fucking brakes that are tanks that just run forever, and that's the only thing they're driving. They have like turbos on them yeah. and shit, nitrous <laughs> wings, <laughs> so they can fucking fly over the DMZ yeah. from South Korea. Oh god! Yeah, just imagine a big ass fucking ramp like it's fucking nitrous Family. circus. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Fucking A, dude. I can't believe they still keep fucking making that garbage. Dude, if people keep buying it. Yeah, I'm sure they made a fuck ton of money. They, apparently they make a lot of money in, like, China off that off those movies, so. China's, like, a pretty big demographic for them, so. That's wow. why, like, John Cena was, like, apologizing in Mandarin. John Cena knows how to speak Mandarin because he... Oh, yeah, he said something about Taiwan. Uh, he was like, Taiwan. Yeah, I think he called it a own. country. Yeah, and China was like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, China freaked the fuck out, and they, like, tried to embargo the movie. China number one. China number one. <laughs> China's the only country. All right. But, yeah, it's fucking wild to see John Cena speaking Mandarin, though. Like, actually, you're just yeah, like, what the seen, fuck, soldier you've boy? Seen John Zena, right? But what? They got, they got uh, Mao, yeah, it's Mao Zedong. But it had, you know, you know, Chairman Mao, his picture. Yeah. But in oh. the same clothes in the same air, but it has John Cena's yeah. face on it, dude. I was like, yeah, we need to start, like, we need to make that the cover of the next <laughs> movie. <laughs> Get really embargoed right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's so If great. YouTube didn't hate us before, they're yeah. definitely going to hate us now. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah I've, uh, yeah, it's so fucking funny. They make so much shit. Oh, the new fucking, they made a new fucking Forza game. Uh, or the new Forza Horizons game came out. Yeah. Forza Horizon 5, and I have, like, Game Pass. It's on Xbox, so it's free. Oh, it's it's so good. I saw so something fun. where this dude is, like, doing this race. Oh, the 50-lap race? Yeah, and he's just... He has his uh, throttle held down by a uh, hair tie. Yeah. And he's just... And it just, like, auto-drives for him and everything. Yeah. He's making, like, millions and millions of dollars. Yeah, I've seen like, a yeah, lot of I feel shit. Like, it's like, I think I'm a piece of shit for cheating. But he's like, but I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen a bunch of shit where they're like, this is a hack. This is, like, a fucking hack. That option has been available in every fucking Forza game to have it automatically drive for you. It's just uh, assisted gas, or assisted braking, assisted turning. You can turn on all those assists and stuff like that because they cater to, like, all the people that are, like, paraplegic. And stuff like that. So that way all they have to do is push the gas and they can still race and stuff like that. Or whatever the case is like that. So it's not really like... I've seen like a million videos on like how it's a hack. I'm like, it's a fucking feature built into the game. And people are like, you should fix your game for it. It's like, it's not for you. It's for the fucking disabled fucking people. Yeah. The degenerates. Like, 
It's not like it. It's not like they have like an EA thing or like a. Yeah, they're not making you pay extra for it. You know? It's not. No, not like so much paying. It's not like you have like a fucking, you know, a pro league or like a world championship of who can drive the most laps. I mean, yeah, and it's not like your car. You're the fastest cares? car in the world doing that. You know, mm-hmm. like it's not like if you play and you actually do it, you'll be faster than the actual system doing it. Because it takes it slow and it just follows the driving line and it's fucking dumb. Yeah, I don't know how Forza added a 50 lap fucking race though. Apparently it takes like 9 hours. I'm like, who's got the fucking time? But also, <clears throat> Gran Turismo has these license... You can get licenses in Gran Turismo that are like the most difficult fucking races in the goddamn world. Most difficult I've ever played. Mm-hmm. Trying to get a license because you have to do so many things perfectly and they're yeah. such long fucking races. Because um, Gran Turismo is more like simulated compared to like Forza. Well, Forza Horizon at least. Forza Horizon is the fucking playground. You can fucking have all this sorts of shit. Like at the beginning of the game, your fucking shit's dropped out of a plane, you know. It's not the one where like people, you know, like from the train would come. You like pin your car between like this barrier. The train would hit you and your car would go flying. Yeah, that's exactly horizon. right. Yeah, that's like, yeah, that right. looks like more fun anyways. Yeah. <laughs> they have a Battle Royale. I don't know if the new one has it actually. I haven't checked yet. But they have a Battle Royale. So everybody starts in Mini Coopers, and you're trying to find, like, loadouts and shit like that, and make it to the circle, and you, like, race other people to, like, these places, and you get, like, a bigger and better car. Oh, that's Shit cool. like that. Oh, it's yeah. so much fun. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Because you're just, like, fucking in a Mini Cooper mobbing through the middle of nowhere, you yeah. know, in the desert, <laughs> trying to hit, to hit trees, trying to get to this place before the other one. Yeah, and, like, you have no idea where it is, so, like, if you two start a race in your opposite ways, it may, like, start it, like, in front of you, so you might have, like, the advantage, or it, like, might be off to the side, or fucking... That's Might hit a tree. It's a lot of fun, actually. That's so. really fun. That's cool. It's, it's an actual good battle royale. Warzone. Take notes. Yeah. Fortnite. I bet you they don't have the Travis Scott skin in there anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. After the flat McRib. <laughs> yeah. I saw something. They had, um, it was a TikTok, like, a day after. Because you know how people are. But it was, like, yeah. the Travis Scott skin. It was, like, you know, doing his dance, like... On top of this stage, and just have like chalk lines of like dead bodies oh everywhere God. around it. And I was like, yeah, man, it's pretty good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I know it's shitty that like the people that died were like kids, and you know, but that's like Travis Scott's demographic is fucking kids. Like it's somewhere between fucking the know, Gen Z, the fucking Fortnite kids to like our age, pretty much. You know, it's fucking wild. But apparently, Astro World is his concert. Like, his yeah, whole thing. That, yeah. yeah, like he owns it or whatever the fuck. So I'm like, damn, you are getting fucking sued. Like, Shit's gonna be bad for you. Oh yeah, but it'll be buried because you know. I'm pretty fucking, sure Drake um, was there, so I'm I guarantee you that's yeah. why that crowd was so fucking big. So yeah, yeah, but it just happened to be that like during this, he was the only one performing. Nobody else was performing, mm-hmm. so that's why everybody rushed to that one stage. Because normally at most festivals, like even like Coachella, they have like three stages, so there's like performances going on. So you have to like time what performances on what stage and stuff mm-hmm. like that, who you actually want to see. But apparently this was the one where he was the only one performing, so... Probably just poorly managed. Yeah. Poor kids. It is unfortunate. But... Don't go to a Travis Scott festival. Yep. (laughs) You won't have to worry about that. But, yeah, shit's fucking wild. Idiots. You think they'd, like, with all these, like, millions of dollars that they're getting and shit like that, you think they'd, like, have someone who's done it before and be like, Hey, maybe we don't do this. Right. Yeah, it's fine. But what do I know? I'm just a peasant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, God dang. Got anything else? No, nope, not really. Um, oh, no, I had something else. Um, Don't do drugs. Yeah. Or do. Whatever. <laughs> Apparently you can... <laughs> There's a lot of apparently's in this because we don't know shit, okay? T- for the record. Yeah. Uh, but apparently you can go and do ketamine with a doctor. Like a psychiatrist or some shit like that. So, like, sit you in a chair and you can go do, like, ketamine trips with, like, and a doctor or a psychiatrist and you just talk to them and it helps with, like, depression and anger and a bunch of other shit like that. But if you're going to do drugs, do that one with the doctor. <laughs> Yeah, you you're like done, done tripping. You're like, oh, you're in a fucking straight jacket. You're like, what yeah. the fuck? 
He's like, I trust you. Open up. He's like, Yeah, you're never getting that. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking you psychopath. Next, you yeah. next, you the bomber, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Man, all right, they just commit you. <laughs> yeah, forever. Just immediately committed. <laughs> all right, you got any closing statements? No, sir. All right, I'm getting the beer bong. All right, I'm a beer bong this. All right, you gonna do a full one? It's mostly full, yeah. Try not to spill it all over myself. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, hey, hey. Go die. <laughs> Are you going to go to the Friendsgiving that Dan's going to have? Uh, no. When, is it on Thanksgiving? No. Oh. It's not that stupid. Yeah. It's, uh... Next Saturday. Oh, yeah, I'll probably go. Right. Yeah, I'll probably go and talk shit. No. Oh, you know where I think he lives, by the way? I think I I think I think saw his Hummer when I was at Bricks. I think he lives in those apartments over there. Oh. Garden shitty? Yeah. Friend uh, Tidwell on the podcast when he comes down for Christmas. Yeah, should be a good old time. Yeah, he's bringing his baby. Yes, we're gonna have baby fight night. We don't condone you having your children fight each other, but twenty dollars, twenty dollars. Yeah, his baby's gonna start off easy. Sutherland's baby, then my baby, <laughs> Red's and then, baby, and then Red's baby, and then it gets a little bit weird. Then we go the odds start stacking against him. Those are the you know front runners. Yeah. The main cards the late of the night. Yeah. He's much older kids. Yeah. Much bigger kids too. <laughs> the ones that have been trained their whole life for this event. <laughs> Just like the fucking um the Hunger Games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, District One and District Two babies are at the end. Yeah. <laughs> fucking A. Alright, thank you guys so much. Fall swim, beers with the boys, wherever, Instagram, Facebook, technically we're Twitter. I don't fucking know how to use Twitter, I'll be honest with you. Only fans. Yeah, only cans. <laughs> uh, email us at beerswiththeboys20 at gmail.com if you have suggestion, comment, you want to talk shit. Um, <laughs> If you definitely want to talk, you should do that. Yeah, fight me, you know? <laughs> so, but thank you guys for listening so much. Have a great day. 